All right, time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. He is joining us live today, and we're talking about oil prices continuing to fall, David. Well, and actually now they're heading in the other direction. Yesterday we reported that the Paris-based International Energy Agency was warning of dire oil shortages if economic sanctions continue to put a hamper on Russian oil output. The IEA is expecting that Russian output could drop by as much as 3 million barrels a day. Russia is the world's third largest oil producer after the United States and Saudi Arabia. So today, world energy markets digested that and pushed oil prices much higher, up 7%, topping $100 a barrel once again today. How high could the cost of oil go? Morgan Stanley is out today with an estimate that it could go for $120 a barrel, which would only put more upward pressure on gas prices throughout the world. Bottom line here, economic sanctions are having their desired effect on Moscow. It's making it a lot tougher for Russia to operate economically. It's also causing pain right back here at the pump. All right. Uh, I guess this is a good time to have a 30-year fixed. <laughs> yeah, if you already have your rate locked in, to be sure. We're seeing mortgage rates, especially for the 30-year fixed rate, rising. Now up above 4% for the first time since 2019. That's a big change. A 30-year fixed is now averaging 4.16%. That's up from 3.85% a week before. Now, if you're thinking, well, the Federal Reserve just raised interest rates, so that's not a surprise. This isn't that. Even though the Federal uh, Reserve's interest rate increases will affect mortgages, along with car loans, student loans, credit cards, that hasn't really had an impact yet. It's going to take months for these Fed rate hikes to reflect that in, in various forms of loans. This is instead a sign that the, the, the lenders are all basically very wary of the course of the economic recovery. They're seeing more risk as a result of higher inflation, higher energy costs, the war in Ukraine, and that's why we're seeing interest rates going up for these loans. In fact, analysts say it's going to be a long time before we ever see rates again below 3%. So if you're thinking about getting a home loan, if you're thinking about a refi, looks like the odds are rates are going to keep going up. You might want to move quick. Mm. Good advice, David. And at Netflix launching a crackdown on password sharing. Yeah, now make no mistake, Netflix has always made clear that they do not approve of this practice, but a lot of people do it. They share their passwords with others, family members, friends, and, you know, that's been a thing. Now Netflix says, ah, you know what, that's really cutting in our, into our ability to invest in original content, and they do have a good point there. So Netflix says they're planning to introduce an extra fee for the primary account holder if that person wants to share the password outside the household. No word yet on how much that fee could run here in the U.S., but overseas, where they're already testing this, looks like it's running maybe $3.00 a month or so and for anybody who says well how are they going to know well they know your address so if somebody logs on with a password from outside your primary household that's what we're talking about here if it's a family member well you know that's going to be the extra fee basically and this is a very interesting stat all streaming companies are losing about nine billion dollars a year to so-called password privacy if Netflix puts this practice, the extra fee, in place, you can be sure HBO, Disney, Hulu, and all the others will follow suit. Back to you guys. I would argue that they even know what we're eating for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so, too. They certainly know what we're watching on TV as well. Right. Well, you know, Netflix is hurting. They got a building there. They got one across the street. They're going to build one over here. A lot of real estate. Street. You know, I mean, Breaks my heart. Yeah. yeah. David, thank you.